Which is the uh, release of uh, the Maui shell? So, what is unique about uh, about this desktop environment basically is, and also the accompanying um, UI framework, which is Maui Kit. And as you can see here, uh, it is actually part uh, of the KDE Foundation. So. Um, and what is interesting about this is that the um, user interface is designed for operating on desktops, uh, tablets, and phones. Uh, let me just check here. Yeah, here's an example for um, the uh, interface on phones. And... Um, here is the one also on for tablets. Whoops. No. Oop. Sorry about that. So here is also the view on tablets. Um, for everyone listening to this on uh, on the podcast format, you will find the article with the with the sample images that I'm showing here uh, in the show notes on uh, my blog um, bnf.com, uh, or they are linked. Uh, as uh, uh, sorry, they are linked in uh, in the description of the episode. Yeah, so this is interesting um, for, to me because, as I mentioned earlier, I am uh, pretty heavily involved in mobile development and um, also cross-platform development, and uh, a technology like this would be really really interesting um, to see involve, um, evolving and perhaps integrate with uh, cross-platform frameworks like um, yeah react native or uh, flutter um, no, not really flutter because flutter does its own thing in regards to rendering um, but uh, a very interesting candidate would be a namesake of this uh, framework here, which would be uh, Microsoft's .NET Maui, uh, because they are currently not planning Linux support uh, for .NET Maui officially. I know that there already has um, work begun uh, on Linux support from the community community side of things, but um, if I saw that correctly, it's currently done again on GTK basis. And the Maui kit here is uh, based on Qt. And there is already a very good um, Qt to C sharp um, translation uh, layer. I think it's called QML.net. Uh, so I am actually planning to look into this uh, this year if uh, it would be possible to uh, perhaps integrate um, these three frameworks to make a uh, cross-platform um, integration with uh, .NET MAUI possible, because I think that would be really, really interesting. Um, I wanted to look into that before, you know, beforehand as well, but um, since .NET MAUI also focuses on supporting all three so desktop mobile uh, in uh, tablet and uh, uh, phone format a um, technology a framework like this could be actually pretty uh, beneficial and it's also cross-platform so they are targeting uh, various platforms at once with this as well so um, you would open a lot of opportunities uh, with this uh, if you would make this compatible um, to other uh, to other frameworks, and you could have uh, one 
frameworks for uh, for everything uh, in regards to the different um, platform representations. So yeah, um, definitely something I will be following pretty closely. The company that is making this is. Um, I think it's also actually cost, uh, called Nitrix, like their uh, Linux OS mentioned here. Um, and this is actually part of the current Nitrix Linux uh, OS release. Uh, that's why it's a um, pretty recent article here, despite uh, being, I think, the on the blog here, the latest, latest update is from uh, November, so the um, those projects are independent for, from each other, but Nitrix actually released that uh, um, in their latest update uh, now in December, and uh, I actually might have a look at this distribution because uh, it's looking pretty interesting as well, because they're also uh, rocking their own uh, standard desktop um, and I'm currently just checking a few Linux distributions myself uh, in, uh, on the site when I have time. So I will be definitely watching this. And uh, I uh, f started to follow both projects on, on Twitter now. And uh, if there are updates, I will uh, definitely get back to you on those. And uh, perhaps I will, uh, when I start investigating, I'll have something to contribute to myself. It is up.